What's up everybody and welcome to Ingenuity and another episode of Project Becky. For everyone that's new here, there's a thingy up there so you can get caught up. And for everyone who's stuck around so far, thank you. Welcome back. Always a pleasure having you along. So in the last episode, you might remember me saying this. Now we get to start on the front, which should be a lot easier than the back. Which should be a lot easier than the back. A lot easier than the back. Yeah, I don't know what the f I was thinking. So sure, so while we don't have to worry about the transmission or the axles or building lateral links uh, to account for the tie rods, we do have to worry about making sure we have the pedal box in the right position or if we're going to run swing pedals, if we're going to run like the, the floor mounted style setup, we got to you know account for the lines we got to have the wheel well clearance, make sure the wheel clearance, make sure the wheel clearance. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> so, that said, I stared at this thing for quite a bit, took a lot of measurements, stared at it some more, and I think we'll be okay with my original plan as long as I keep things really tight and follow, um, you know, the, the exact lines. We're not going to be able to come into the cabin too much. We're also not going to be able to come outside the car too much. So as long as we keep that tight, I think we'll be okay. So here's what we're working with. So for demonstration purposes, I put the uh, the subframe in so you can see it does fit within the confines of the factory Honda frame rails. That's important because that gives us a good cut line because I really want to try to maintain as much of the bulkhead and this uh, front apron down here, like all this stuff, um, as much as I can for now. Why? Because it'll help me with the placement of things. That way you're not completely starting from scratch. You know, you kind of know roughly where it goes and you can just build from that. So I just find that to be easier. So that's just the way I want to do it. So that said, we are going to be cutting out basically the entire insides of these frame rails. Um, like I said, we're gonna leave the outer structure for now where those tubes meet uh, the bulkhead. Um, we're gonna get those notched out and then we're also gonna notch this front apron just basically enough to allow the rails to slide into place. Okay, so with that, let's get cut. So the initial plan of attack was to take uh, this tube um, and cant it like this and then we would have the intermediate tube go straight off this and then angle outward like this once it connected to the main frame rails. And I had an idea. What if we notched it like this? So we have this. If we notch it on the front side here and, and um, have this back drop down, now we can weld it to here as well. And then, so this is going to come off angled and then meet up with the primary tube. Uh, that's going to go forward and then I'll just gusset uh, the underneath and over and uh, I, I think that'll work well because it changes the game a little bit with this because what this is going to enable us to do is actually pull this rail inside and give us even more wheel well clearance than the initial concept which is something I was kind of struggling with a little bit so um, yeah we're going to give that a shot we're going to see how it looks obviously if it sucks <laughs> you know the deal will uh, we'll cut it out and build it better but I I think this will work, so. That said, let's go cut up some tubes.
So there you go. Uh, first round, we've got a lot more tweaking to do, but this is kind of the basic shape of how it's gonna do it. Now the only things we need to do is actually attach these. I'm gonna leave this open for now till we get the width set for the subframe. Once that's set, I can then take and make the, the uh, <laughs> I don't know what they're called, uh, fillets? Is that a thing? I don't know. Um, make those things, uh, those little pie cuts <laughs> that'll go in there and box that in and strengthen that up. So this is kind of the basic design. Um, actually, it came out pretty good. Um, one of the annoying things about working with a uh, rectangular tube when you're doing stuff like this um, is, you know, not having a mandrel bender. You have to cut it, relief it, notch it, etc. When you're dealing with anything greater than 45 degrees, you've got to notch the tube. Um, otherwise, the face of the cut is wider than the adjoining tube. Um, so that's why these are notched. But it does also spread out your weld area, so it might be stronger. There it is. <laughs> Let's go tweak some shit up and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get these, uh, these tacked up and then uh, set our set our widths and we'll be good to go. So now that we've got the frame rails in the car, now we have to get everything centered. And in order to do that, first you need a set of datum points. And these are just going to be a point of reference uh, to when you're measuring and marking things to make sure that everything's centered. So in this case, I used the wiper cowl, the outer fender apron, and the lower radiator support. I then measured and marked uh, two points uh, equidistant left and right on the engine cradle. Um, so once I set the frame rail width to the subframe, uh, then centered the frame rails into the engine bay, measuring against the outer fender apron. Then uh, centered the wheel. Um, in the wheel well using one of the lug holes. Then I centered the lower control arm to the wheel using the ball joint hole against that same lug hole. Then reset the subframe to that new measurement, measured both sides to make sure that they were, they were centered. Um, got that set and then it's just a matter of marking, drilling the holes and uh, getting it bolted in and we're off to the races. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Let's see how she fit. Oh shit. I used the wrong tube. <laughs> I used the one inch instead of the three quarter. Whoops. Um, good news. The inside diameter of the one inch tube is just shy of three quarters. It's like a, it's like a point seven four seven or something like that. So if I run a three quarter inch bit down there, I can widen them out to three quarters and put the three quarter inch tube in. <sighs> I'm an idiot.
All right, got everything tightened down. I measured uh, both sides to make sure that we were uh, still even. We had a little bit of wiggle room, so it was a little bit of adjustment back and forth, but got it centered again. All good to go there. Now comes a very big moment. Well, a bunch of small moments that kind of make one big moment. Now, we have to take that guy out. So now that we got the frame rails in and the engine cradle in, I think now's a good point as any to call it a day. So I'm going to end it here. Next time, we're going to be working on building the strut towers and then beyond that, the control arm mounts and then the front suspension is done. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And just remember, on projects like these, sometimes you just need a little ingenuity. I will see you next time.